All right, Digital Imaging. Um, here we've got our file for our t-shirt designs. Remember that you've got your finished design over here and then uh, on these other two artboards, you're gonna be making uh, your different colors. So you need to label these for what color vinyl you're gonna use that I know. Usually I can just tell, um, but you need to also just label it in here. I'm doing a pretty easy design. So I've got uh, black vinyl uh, with some orange and then also I'm going to do this on a white t-shirt here. First off, uh, remember if you're doing white vinyl, you want to make sure that it's black. Uh, so it needs to look something like this. And then over here, you would show the vinyl as white uh, so that I know what everything looks like. Remember that the vinyl cutter can't read white on a white artboard. So you need to turn that black uh, to use that. First thing you need to do is you need to make sure that your text is turned into an outline because I'm not going to have that font on my computer. So you need to go up to type and then go to create outlines. And then that'll turn your uh, font from a object to, uh, from, a type, from a letter to an object here. Then also if you zoom in here, and this applies to just anything that you make inside Illustrator and I'll go over that too. If you look at this font, you can see that there's this little triangle here that's overlapping. Uh, the vinyl cutter is going to read that. So what you need to do is make this all one single piece. You can do that a couple different ways. Uh, one way is you can use your shape builder tool and then I can select this and then just connect those two together like that. Other way is I can also use my pathfinder tool and use the unite option and I can make that all one single piece. Okay. The reason for that is the vinyl cutter is going to see that little triangle shape and it's going to cut that out here. Okay. Also remember that the vinyl cutter has a limit to the amount of detail that it can include. So uh, three point is about the minimum that it can include here. So you need to make sure that your lines are nice and thick here. So anything that you draw, you wanna make sure that it's nice and thick. So all these are like eight point here. And then same thing, if I click on this and then click here, uh, this has a white fill on it. And then there's this line here behind that. Um, what I need to do is I need to cut this out uh, using my Shape Builder tool. So I would grab my Shape Builder tool and then what I need to do is just cut this out because again the vinyl cutter is going to see this as well. So if I hold my Option key I can delete this. Oops. Um, let's see how else can I do this. Uh, let's see. If I do Object Flatten transparency, press OK. Can I cut that out now? It's not what I wanted. Yeah, that'll work here. Um, so what I did was I went to object and then flatten transparency. I would make sure before you do this, you've got a copy of this. So I would like select this and then just put like a copy over here or something like that. And then I would do object, flat transparency, press OK. And then I can grab my Shape Builder tool and delete this back here like that. Because otherwise it's going to see those files back there and it might cut that out. Okay. And then last thing is same thing, see this, I need to unite that so I can use my unite option or I can use my shape builder tool and do that. Okay. Uh, that part's, I need, I would need to fix that. I'm just going to keep going here. And then last thing is you'll take everything. I'm going to put this, you know, this is going to be how this looks, looks when I'm done here. You know, it would look something kind of like this here, like that. And then my final design would look like this on my t-shirt. Okay. So I've got my stroke here, and then I've got my design here like that. Okay. So make sure you turn your font into an object, and then you want to make sure you have any, like, paths or anything that are overlapping each other. You clean those up here.